trying to do something big as a highly sensitive person, I would really recommend like don't don't do the way that everybody else does it. Really take some time to think about what's going to stress you out about doing it the regular way and what are some different ways that you can do it. Now, for those of you who noticed that my background looks different, it's different. Half my floor is gone. And let me see if I can show you. So let's take this out of its stand. All right. So this, okay, I've got my closet here. This is my floor. And yeah, we've got a little walkway there. These are the floorboards that I've cleaned, but they still, still need to be oiled. They need to have a new coat of oil. And what I've done to make all this a little bit more HSV friendly is because, okay, this is the place where my couch is. I know it looks like a mess now because it's all in one place, but this is the place where my couch is. And I like to have my couch, obviously, to relax on. Um, so I was like, if I need to break up the whole floor, I can't have my couch and it's going to be this long, long, arduous process. So what I decided to do is keep the couch on this like little <laughs> island. So half my floor is still here and the other half is broken up. And what I'm going to do is put the, the like clean up this half. This is all clean now. Um, oil it again because it needs a new, new layer of oil. Um, and then put it all back. And then I'm going to break up the second part of the floor. Okay. So, okay. So why did I do it that way? Um, my floor has needed some maintenance for quite a while now. And, but it's the living room floor. It's where I do everything, right? So, and I've actually had somebody who was gonna do it for me quite a while back, that didn't work out. And I've just been having kind of problems with getting getting people to fix stuff around the house for me. And with, with this lockdown, I got to a point where I was like, this just needs to be done now. It needs to be done. So, but I realized being a highly sensitive person, I do get overstimulated more quickly than most people. So I had to set this up in a way where it was easy peasy. And since I'd never done it before, I needed to set it up in a way where I was going to have some time. So my family's classic way of doing it is just dump everything somewhere. Don't think about it. Try to do everything at once and then just work yourself to the bone. And I knew that that approach was going to drive me crazy. So what I did instead is I thought, okay, if I give myself a month to do this, how can I set it up so that during that month, I'm not going to get stressed out by the floor and everything being in a different place. So I really took my time to think about where to put certain things in my living room and in my hallway so that I could still manage fine, that I wasn't going to feel stressed out by clutter. Um, and then how I could break up the floor and do it in bits. And I'm actually doing the, I'm, taking the boards upstairs to oil them there so that I can have the window open 24 seven, because what you want to do when you put on new oil is you actually want to air out the room, but it's not warm enough to have the windows open 24 seven. And I don't want to sit in that smell, HSP alert, you know? <laughs> so I actually do the, I do the oiling upstairs and I let it dry. And then only when it's kind of really, really dry and the, the smell has gone away, I'm going to put them back in. So it's a much slower process. But because I'm doing it this way, I feel, I don't feel stressed about it. I'm, you know, I just do a little bit um, every, in the beginning I did a little bit every day and now I've had like two days where I didn't do anything. I just needed a little bit of a break and I can take that break because it doesn't matter. Like it'll get done when it's done. And meanwhile, I have a little workspace set up in the kitchen. I can also work in here if I need to. Um, so, you know, a totally different way of planning and probably the kind of planning that would seem completely crazy to most people where they're like, why don't you just do it in a weekend? Um, also, because if I try to do something like this for a full day straight, I'm going to be exhausted because there's so many things I have to think about. There's so many things I like little instructions I have to read and things I have to Google that if I do three hours a day working on this, that's plenty. I'm kind of done for the day. Um, interestingly, applying the oil to the floor is like the easiest part. That's like super quick and it's really fun because it looks really nice afterwards. The hard part is the logistics around it. And, um, 
yeah, and looking into things like filling in the cracks. There's a few cracks in places I have to fill it in. So I had to look up what material to use for that. And so that I'll have my sh first shot at that this week. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So that's why my, my living room floor is, or my living room is really empty and you see this big empty wall behind me. Um, but you know, if you're, if you're trying to do something big as a highly sensitive person, I would really recommend like, don't, don't do the way that everybody else does it. Really take some time to think about what's going to stress you out about doing it the regular way. And what are some different ways that you can do it? This is something I really, uh, work on with clients too. I have a lot of people coming to me because they're, they're like, Oh, you know, the family's expecting me to go here or do this or whatever. And I know I'm going to get overwhelmed. What do I do? Cause it can feel like you have two options. You do what everybody else does or expects, or you opt out. Right. But very often there's an in-between there's ways that you can do things differently, but it takes some thinking outside of the box. Yeah. So if you'd like to talk about that, if you have a project, I'm happy to chat with you, set up a clarity call with me. Um, but for the time being, it's okay to do things differently, you know, but it can take a while to give yourself that permission and to get up to a place where you really feel like, oh yeah, I could just do this really, really differently and it's okay. All right. This is Caroline from the Happy Sensitive. Have a really nice day. Bye-bye.